Hello everybody, what's going on? I'm Cecil Star and welcome to Zombie Nation where I review the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead of Season 4. So, I got cut off last time. I was about to do the review, I did the part of the video and I got cut off and someone else did it for me. And he was not supposed to do that. And then I got a called a sinister clown, a clown. Now, the only clown I ever liked was Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. So, but I'm no clown. It was that funny, it wasn't funny. But anyways, get on to the serious part of this. This episode kind of starts off with the governor giving a speech about how they're going to take the prison and this and that. No one has to die, this and that. Some people are good, some people are bad. They kill my daughter. Well, the thing is, Michonne did kill... Well, actually, she really didn't kill his daughter because his daughter was already dead. She was a zombie, so that's a bunch of crap. The governor spreading a bunch of shit lies. He's really the bad guy, but he makes himself look like the good guy. And they all believe him. And they'll, some his girlfriend's like, no, we don't, we're fine where we're at, whatever. So then the governor's pretend daughter, Megan, she's digging in the um, clay, finds a sign that, Mom, Mom, help me, help me, help me. But then she's like, no, when I got it. And then the zombie comes out, and she's like, ah! And the zombie comes on and rips her, like, bites her, like, right in there by the shoulder. She dies. The governor's pretend daughter is dead. So, but he goes to the prison. Before that, Rick is telling Daryl that he kicked Carol out of the group. Daryl's not too happy, and they're going to go tell Tyrese who did it, but then Tyrese is like, the person who did, bro, damn, is the person who did this, and Rick's like, no, that's not it. It was his old rat or whatever. But, um, they didn't get to tell him who did it. So, as they get attacked, as the tank blows up one of the towels, and then he's like, oh yeah, the governor captured Herschel and Michonne. But Herschel is trying to talk him out of it, doing what he's doing, like we can all live together. Rick says the similar thing before that. He's like, you need to come out here, Rick. You're gonna, we need to talk. And Rick's like, I don't make the decisions anymore. The council makes the decisions. But the thing about that is, the council's pretty much gone. Because Rick kicked out Carol, and Carol's not there, so she's part of the council. Herschel's captured, so there's no way to make the decision, so Rick has to make a decision. And of course, Daryl nods, so that means Rick has to go down there. And he's like, and he's like, you're gonna have to give up, like, you're gonna have to give up the prison. He's like, no, we can all live together or whatever. And it was like, no, we can't do that and this and that. Rick's like, well, it's gonna be that way, or well, no one's gonna have it. So then, of course, the governor don't like that, so he takes out that sword, and he pretty much cuts Herschel's throat. Oh, yeah, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I'm spoiling some parts. If you don't know, I'm so sorry. But, um, he's not dead. Herschel did not die at that moment. He was still kind of crawling around there, shooting, shooting, shooting. Rick does get shot. Then also the governor and Rick do fight it out, end up punching each other. Rick gets the best, best of him a few times, but then the governor gets him down. Before that, everybody's fighting. The two, um, also the governor does end up killing Herschel. He cuts his head off before he ends up fighting Rick one on one. So I'm kind of skipping parts and going back to different parts. So yeah, the governor had killed Herschel. Obviously, Rick's not happy about that. And, um, Michonne gets kind of left alone and she gets out. So she gets a sword back and starts killing some of the people that went by the tank. The tank breaks down the, the fences, whatever. Actually, um, Daryl uses the, um, one of the zombies that were coming out there as a guard. So when they were shooting, they were shoot, shooting the zombie. He ends up throwing a grenade inside the cannon of the, um, tank. And the guy has to get out. And he's kind of like, I give up, whatever. And what's his name? Dale's like, never mind. He's pointing the crossbow. Boom, he's dead. And the two girls want to help out too. Well, really, the oldest one does. They go get guns. And they pretty much save Tyrese and kill two of the members that were over there. Pretty much the whole 
group of the governor's group pretty much is all dead besides the two sisters. I didn't see them die. Well, the governor's beating the shit out of Rick. Finally has him down. It looks like he's got this. He's going to kill Rick. And then a sword goes right through his damn chest. And Michonne pretty much just leaves him there. She kind of carries Rick out there to find his son. And... He's the governor's laying down there. You see these zombies coming there. But then that one girl that's dating or with whatever. The governor's girlfriend comes down there and boom, dead. She kills the governor. Lily or whatever her damn name is. I'm not sure if that's what her name was. Because I really just didn't care. But the governor's dead. Everybody's split apart. Everything's in chaos. Nobody's really together. I'm not sure what happened to Daryl. I know that Rick and Carl left, and the two sisters left, but it's a possibility that they'll, that Rick's daughter could be dead, but she was left in that carriage. But there was at least one other girl with the kid, so they could have carried the kid away. So I don't know if she's dead or not. Some people are saying she is, but it was never shown. So all in all, I give this episode a 9.5. It was really good. The only thing that made me sad was when Herschel died because he's a character I like. I was really invested in that character. And then he's gone. Glenn didn't do much. She was still sick. And that was one of the things that Rick said. We can't leave because those people are still, those kids, they're still sick. But the governor, who cares, I got a tank. Okay, you got a tank. Congratulations, Governor. I'm happy you're gone because they continue. You could not continue the story with that stinking Governor. That's it, people. Bam!